Hi, I'm Chris with Gravity Space, and we are in Cincinnati, Ohio this evening. I read a very famous restaurant card called Arnold's, and I'm here with my new friend. Could you uh, say who you are and say hi, please? Hi, um, my name is Marcus Smith. I am the service manager here at Arnold's Bar and Grill in Cincinnati, downtown. Excellent. Now, Marcus uh, was nice enough to come around and check on uh, me and my friend Megan tonight uh, at the table. He's very personable, a very nice guy, and uh, I immediately was saying, I want to get this moment, and here we are. So it's a beautiful thing. So Marcus, if you could just share with us one person in your life you're grateful for, and just let us know why. Okay. Well, it's going to be my mother. A lot of people would say their parents. Um, why I'm so grateful is, you know, I grew up in a very Christian-based home, um, but my mom has always been open and outgoing and everything, and always accepting. So when I was seven, um, my father had a nervous breakdown, um, and she had to play both parent, and it was really, really hard. So I grew up very quickly, but she always made sure to encourage us to follow our passions and be who you are and really, you know, be a kid. Just really enjoy whatever. So like what you like, be who you are, and love everything you can. And I think that was passionate, especially growing up um, in a really difficult time. My father, you know, eventually went into a nursing home and he has, um, you know, he's bipolar and schizophrenic and everything. So growing up was really difficult. So the person that was always passionate and always there in my life was my mom. And, you know, as I tend to grow up, she was always, you know, always open about everything that could go on um, that I needed, you know, whether it was talking about, you know, my life or, you know, school, music, whatever, she always found a way to have an approach for it. And that was always really thankful. And the biggest thing is, as I grew up, I actually, uh, I'd always been a sick child. And when I turned 22, I actually got diagnosed with HIV. And so my mother stood by my side for a lot of the um, appointments. You know, prayed every day, and one of the most passionate things is that she's such a spiritual person. And whether you believe or you don't, it's that passion. And so, you know, the church we call her with prayers and everything, and she continuously prayed for me. And, you know, it only took about six months of going to the doctors, and, you know, I was kind of as undetectable, which mm -hmm. means being HIV positive, it basically means is that I'm healthy as you are. Um, you know, I just had to take medication every day, and I've lived a normal life for the last 10 years, and so no one would ever know, right. and I'm very open about it, you know, um, my owner knows, different things like that, right. and the people, so I never hit, but the biggest thing, my mom was always there for me, and, you know, when I was sick, she was, she would bring me food or different things like that, she made sure I was you know, taken care of, and I've always been appreciative. And you know, when I told her I was gay, with about 19, before I became uh, positive, mm -hmm. she told me I'll never understand, but I will always love you. Mm -hmm. And three years later, she's calling me about gay pride festivals and being, <gasps> you know. And so I think having that individual in my life really created who I am today. And so I'm very outgoing and very personal. You know, and I struggle every day, but I look at this woman, she's been married 32 years as of this March, mm -hmm. and she, you know, she stood still standing by my father. You know, he's in a nursing home, they have not been in the same house in 15 years, but she said, I, I married you for better or worse. And I think in today's society, it's so rare to see that. Um, there have been times where I, I wish she had, um, really made herself a little bit more selfish, mm -hmm. but to see that much passion out of someone is amazing, and I feel very blessed to have her in my life, and, you know, you know, I call her every day, and I see her, and, you know, it really makes the world a difference, so that's who I'm grateful for, is my mom. That was so beautiful, man. Seriously, the, the whole reason I'm doing this project is my mom, so I, when you say that, like, it radiates so strong with me. It's so, so beautiful. So, um. Marcus. <laughs> that was really beautiful. Uh, so, I'm Chris with Marcus saying stay grateful.